If you find you have dug yourself into a hole, stop digging. You not only change what you do, but in a very real way, you also change who you are. Or at least, how you think. The reason the middle class is so heavily taxed is because of the Robin Hood ideal. The reality is that the rich are not taxed. It's the middle class, especially the educated upper income middle class, who pays for the poor. The biggest losers are the poor and middle class, the people who work for money and save money. He'd always say, if you want to get rich, you need to learn how to take risks. Learn to be an investor. It's like planting a tree. You water it for years, and then one day it doesn't need you anymore. Its roots are implanted deep enough. Then the tree provides shade for your enjoyment. Education and wisdom about money are important. Start early. Buy a book. Go to a seminar. Practice. Start small. I turned $5,000 cash into a $1 million asset producing $5,000 a month cash flow in less than 6 years. But I started learning as a kid. I encourage you to learn, because it's not that hard. In fact, it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. It does not take money to make money. It takes words. The difference between a rich person and a poor person is the person's vocabulary. It reminds me of the story of the guy sitting with firewood in his arms on a cold, freezing night. He is yelling at the pot-bellied stove, when you give me some heat, then I'll put some wood in you. And when it comes to money, love, happiness, sales, and contacts, all one needs to remember is to give first. They treat their home as their primary asset, instead of investing in income-producing assets. Often I ask people, what is your business? And they will say, oh, I'm a banker. Then I ask them if they own the bank. And they usually respond, no, I work there. In that instance, they have confused their profession with their business. Their profession may be a banker, but they still need their own business. My rich dad taught me about systems and how to be a leader of people, not a manager of people. Why climb the ladder? Why not own the ladder? I don't work for money. Were words he would repeat over and over. Money works for me. As George Orwell wrote in his book 1984, in a time of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. The reason so many people fail to achieve success is because they fail to fail enough times. Yes, said Rich Dad. Learn to use your emotions to think, not think with your emotions. An important distinction is that rich people buy luxuries last, while the poor and middle class tend to buy luxuries first. Being technically specialized has its strengths as well as its weaknesses. I have friends who are geniuses, but they cannot communicate effectively with other human beings and, as a result, their earnings are pitiful. I advise them to just spend a year learning to sell. Even if they earn nothing, their communication skills will improve. And that is priceless. God does not need to receive, but humans need to give. So passion does not direct them. Fear does. So is that why they'll take jobs with low pay? I asked. Yes, said Rich Dad. Some people say I exploit people because I don't pay as much as the sugar plantation or the government. 
I say the people exploit themselves. It's their fear, not mine. But don't you feel you should pay them more? I asked. I don't have to. And besides, more money will not solve their problems. Just look at your dad. He makes a lot of money, and he still can't pay his bills. Most people, given more money, only get into more debt. What would solve the problem? His brain, Mike's dad told him. He wanted Robert to learn how money works so he could make it work for him. He was also glad that Robert was angry, because anger combines with love to create passion a key component of learning. The old money people, the long-term rich, build their asset column first. Then the income generated from the asset column buys their luxuries. The poor and middle class buy luxuries with their own sweat, blood, and children's inheritance. Choice, not circumstances, determines your success. Because students leave school without financial skills, millions of educated people pursue their profession successfully, but later find themselves struggling financially. They work harder but don't get ahead. What is missing from their education is not how to make money, but how to manage money. It's called financial aptitude what you do with the money once you make it, how to keep people from taking it from you, how to keep it longer, and how to make that money work hard for you. Inside every disappointment lies a priceless gem of wisdom. People who don't take advantage of these legal tax savings are missing a great opportunity to build their asset columns. If you are going to build the Empire State Building, the first thing you need to do is dig a deep hole and pour a strong foundation. If you are going to build a home in the suburbs, all you need to do is pour a 6-inch slab of concrete. Unless you are getting passive income from your house, it is a liability and not an asset. 